Hey YouTube, uh, we are going to do um, a brake job on a 2003 Kia Spectra um, 1.8 liter engine. Um, first things first, chalk your rear wheels, apply your e-brake, raise the vehicle, uh, place it onto jack stands, remove your wheel, and then uh, that'll uh, gain you access to all the uh, brake parts uh, that we'll have to do and change for this job. Um, different tools that I used for this job, impact wrench, um, some baling wire and clippers, brake pads, uh, brake parts cleaner. Um, you're going to need brake grease. Uh, you can get those little uh, packets of brake grease too at the store. It's usually at the front counter of your auto parts store uh, for relatively cheap. Um, grease pen, uh, 17 millimeter socket or wrench, um, C-clamp, uh, a new rotor, uh, and a breaker bar for good measure. Alright, um, to start, uh, remove these um, bolts that hold on the caliper in the back using a 17 mil uh, socket or wrench. Um, note that the top one has this uh, plastic, um, it appears to be a plastic cap on the top, um, and these have grease on them, uh, which is good, but we'll clean all that off and put new grease on there. Um, set that to the side. I need a brake bar for this. Yep. Okay, so when you take off the bottom one, um, you'll note that uh, the bottom one doesn't have that, that plastic piece on there that has those ribs to it. So just make sure that you put this one on the top. So now you'll be able to remove your caliper. Um, I usually use a piece of baling wire uh, to hold it up. So remove your caliper. And then just put this through the viewing hole and then just string it up to the spring portal. And hanging it like this just prevents um, uh, the caliper from hanging uh, from the uh, brake line. All right, now there are uh, two more bolts which hold on this housing. Um, but first, we'll remove the brake pads. And these brake pads still look pretty good. They still have a whole lot of life in them, um, but you know what, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to change them anyways because um, the rotors are warped, so I'm going to have to take them off anyway, so I'll put new ones on. Um, you can always tell where the piston uh, is set on there. Yeah. 
You can remove these. Just little clips. And then we'll remove those back two bolts. Yeah. Now, if you don't want your wheel to move, um, lock your steering wheel. But um, sometimes moving it can give you uh, a different angle to get some parts off a little easier. So do what you like. This bolt, you can see some anti-seize on there, um, but you can remove that now um, and set that aside. And now the next part, um, which I use the impact uh, wrench on, is taking it off of uh, these um, little bolts there, they're little screws that hold on the caliper. So there are um, these screws that hold on the uh, rotor to the knuckle. So uh, I use an impact wrench to do that. So I'll show you guys that in a minute. Alright, so in order <laughs> To get this off with an impact wrench, I have a reducer to a reducer to a, uh, I believe, what, what size is that? Quarter inch uh, socket to a blunt head um, Phillips. And then I'll hook that up to the air and just impact that off. All right, next I'm going to clean off some of these parts. I'll just spray it down with brake parts cleaner. Just let those sit for a little bit. I'll wipe them off um, and then we'll re grease uh, these pens here. And next, let's take off the rotor. Now that I've got these uh, small little bolts off, you can just Okay. Check that out. All right. Um. So take your new caliper. And you're gonna to want to spray it down with brake parts cleaner. Um, uh, these come in with a uh, light film on them, and you're gonna to want to make sure you get all that film off of uh, your rotor because it's not good for your brake pads. So spray that down, let it sit for a little bit, wipe, repeat, and uh, in your final time getting all that off, just spray it and let it evaporate.
I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. All right, the next step is to put on your rotor. Um, make sure you line up all the holes properly so you can get these uh, screw head bolts back in and then get those in. All right, the next step is to put uh, this housing back on. Just like that. So take these. Just start them. And then tighten those up. Okay, next we're going to replace the pads. So get your clips. Get your bottom clip in place. Get your brake pads. And you're going to grease the back. So on the back, um, you're going to want to put some grease on this back plate. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you do it where the caliper housing sits. If you're not sure, just cover the whole back side like that. And then get the top clip, put it up. Place your brake pad back into position. And repeat for the piston side. The piston side has this uh, clip at the top. And since this one is just the piston pushing in on it, just make sure you get it in the middle. Don't get any grease on the pad itself. Okay. All right. The next step is to um, push in your piston. Um, make sure that you take the cap off of your um, uh, brake fluid reservoir that uh, hooks up to the brake master cylinder. Take a C-clamp. Um, the old brake pad, uh, put it against the piston, and then using your C-clamp, um, you're just going to push that piston back, like so. Put your... All right, the next step after you compress your um, piston is to put the caliper back into position, um, grease up your pins, uh, put a dab at the top, and then just rub that grease down. If you need a little more, just add a little more. But as you push this in, it will grease towards the top. And put the top one in. Um, and remember that one has the um, plastic parts with the uh, the ribs at the very top. Like that. That one goes on the very top. 
of your caliper. I'm gonna put a little more at the top. Okay, and then tighten those down. And then before you put your uh, tire back on, take a grease pen and make a mark like that, and just so you can see where uh, if those have been um, taken off again. Next, put your tire on. Lower your vehicle. Then re, uh, recheck your torque specs on the lug nuts. And then make sure that you replace the cap on the reservoir for your brake fluid. And then repeat this process for the other side. 